Hey there, you guys. Welcome back. Today we're going to do a little transplant of this uh, cute little plant. It's a, it's a mini Monstera. Let's see if I can get this right. Raphidophora tetraspernum. Tetrasperna. Sperma. <laughs> All right. Write the name down here because it's kind of cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a long one. So uh, I finally found one in my area and it was, it was on sale. It was 50% off. So I said, yes, I want that. And I took it. Uh, so, like, like I said in other videos, I'm starting to uh, get more interested in things that are probably better for me to grow than highlight plants. My house doesn't have a lot of natural light, like it, it, lots of windows, and, and uh, it is a bright house, but it's not a direct sun house. Um, the, 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 uh, the west side of the house has has like two windows on it and they're small one of them is for the staircase so I'm not getting really intense light for for things like succulents and, and other things that really want heavy heavy light so um, it's great in the summertime for air conditioning because uh, we don't get a lot of direct direct sun so anyway <laughs> rambling on uh, these sorts of plants are low light tolerant it needs to be in a bright indirect location um, maybe a little bit closer to the brighter side would be best. If it gets too, uh, too uh, shady, it, it's going to probably slow the plant down or make it stop growing, or you're going to have it stretch crazy and, and the leaves are going to get progressively smaller. Uh, so yeah, uh, a little bit more light is, is better. Uh, it's really warm down here. I'm starting to get some, uh, some fog going on on my glasses. Some condensation. <laughs> I, can, I can see it down here. So anyway, uh, enough rambling. This plant is, is super fun. I, I hope that they're right and that it's a really fast grower um, because I'm going to put it in a bigger pot and, uh, and let's see what happens. I made another moss pole. Uh, well, not really a moss pole, a rope pole, and I did the lid this time. <laughs> I don't know what, why I decided to do the lid this time, but I, I thought, hey, I got some extra time. My fingers aren't nearly burned enough, so I ended up doing doing the, the lid. So <laughs> this is a long one. I think it's probably uh, three or four feet, maybe three and a half feet uh, long. And uh, what else here? I, I uh, as as I mentioned in the video where we created these, uh, this is where the soil is. So just above where the soil is, that's where the um, the rope starts. Uh, and this one here loves to climb. Uh, you can already see that it's it's humid in this this room, so it's already putting out all kinds of uh, aerial roots starting to grow here. There's one here and off to the side. Ah, oh, you're not even able to see it. Uh, when I when I bring the camera down, we'll look at it more. But it, it's branching out so much down below. Uh, there's so many new growths starting to happen. So I'm going to bury it a little bit deeper uh, to try to get even more root system happening, and then I'm going to allow this. To, to attach to the to pole and uh, hopefully like I said I hope they're right and that it's a fast grower I want it to to fill in once it reaches the top of the pole I'll probably cut it off so it branches out I want it to be a nice full thick plant so that's what I'm hoping for and here is another one of those beautiful pots that I got on sale it's a ceramic pot or a terracotta glazed pot I don't know it's super heavy it's good for outside but it's gonna be for an inside plant this one here I got for $10. Originally $30, $10. So uh, I love these sales in the fall. It's super awesome. So I'm just going to take these price tags off. We're going to use... I'm going to use my regular soil mix and I'm going to be adding extra orchid bark. So let me get that stuff all, all ready and I'll also move the, the camera down. Okay, to start off I'm going to use a piece of paper towel and put it in over the drainage hole. Um, just as I normally do, we're going to mix some of the soil up in this bucket. For this, I'm using my, uh, my Pro Mix High Pro, not, this is not the High Porosity, this is the, uh, general purpose, the BX. There we go, we got some soil going on. I'm going to use, this is just the medium orchid bark. I'm going to need to get another bag out here. I just want the roots to have good air circulation.
the soil is really dry, so I'm just going to add some some water to it. All right. Mix this in nicely. Once it gets mixed in, I think I might also put some of the um, the slow release fertilizer in it. That's not necessary. I just want to do it because when these plants are upstairs, they get fertilized very irregularly. Downstairs, uh, it's easier for me to fertilize. <clears throat> So here we go, got some nice aeration in there, it's broken up. Uh, these guys don't want to be uh, constantly wet, they actually prefer to dry out between waterings or almost completely dry out. So you want to make sure that the, uh, the soil, maybe the top uh, three or four inches is, is dry before you water again and then water really, really well. They like to be evenly moist when you water them. If you have a moss pole, generally you don't need to worry about um, watering the aerial roots, but it's nice to mist them from time to time. Okay, so this is looking pretty nice. I'm just going to add this to the bottom of this pot. I said I was going to take the price tags off, but I got sidetracked by shiny things. Price tags are still on there. I'll take those off after. So there we go. Popping this soil in there all kind of stuck to the bottom as usual all right now we want to stick the pole in it's a really big pole so I want to have it kind of in the center but I'm just going to have it a little off center so it doesn't affect the drainage hole and also I need to have it a little off center anyway because the plant itself uh, I don't know if it's going to be able to fit in there without moving the, the pole off to the side a bit. As the plant grows, it won't even matter. Oh, look at the roots on this guy. They weren't, they weren't uh, filling the pot 100%. They're nice, beautiful white roots, so they're nice and healthy. I was expecting a bigger root system, so they probably grew this from a cutting, and, uh, and um, it, it's, just, it's just growing like crazy. <laughs> so I'll take some of this stuff off. And I'm just going to place this plant in here. Let's have a look at this, actually. Look at all the, the new little growths. There's a, a new growth coming out here. There's a new growth started right here. There's a new one right here. There's one, two, three. Over on the other side, four, five, six. Six little side shoots coming off of here. That's incredible. So uh, if that's the way it's going to grow, I love it. I love it. I want this plant, uh, this pot to get filled in really, really quickly. So I'm just going to plant it maybe an inch deeper than it was in the original pot because I want there to be soil meeting up with where these little aerial roots are starting to develop and that will anchor the plant in just a little bit better. You don't have to bury it a little deeper. I just want to. If you wanted to, you could just plant it as deep as it was in the pot. And I'm also leaning the plant up against the pole. Can I get a better a view? Can you see that? Just leaning it up. And now we're just going to start to... I'm not going to use this old soil. I'll, uh, I'll make some more. Pardon me as we uh, take a little break while I get some more soil ready. Okay, so we got the soil all ready. Uh, I didn't really mention the uh, the cuts and the leaves. Aren't they beautiful? This is This is why it's called a mini monstera. It's so pretty. The leaves are considerably smaller than a Monstera Deliciosa. Um, these, I think that they get to be maybe 12 inches long, maybe on the higher end, maybe 16 inches long. But uh, compared to a Monstera Deliciosa, uh, these guys are, are tiny um, when you, once, once you get a mature Monstera going. So uh, yeah, super, super pretty. I can't wait to see what this looks like as it develops. I also bought, the same day, I bought a... Uh, uh, Monstera Addisonii, uh, so I'm going to be pot uh, uh, potting that one up very, very soon. Um, it's going to go in a smaller pot with a little bit of a smaller moss pole, but it's super cute as well. They call this one a Swiss cheese plant for, uh, for good reason. So here we go. We're just adding all kinds of soil in here. Uh, again, I put in the bark and I put in um, uh, slow-release fertilizer, and it's pre-moistened 
just because my soil was really dry. There we go. I want to make sure that the uh, the soil is making good contact with the roots. I'm trying to get rid of all air spaces, air pockets. Put this in by the handfuls rather than covering everything up with the bucket. There we go. Uh, this is going to contrast, this green is going to contrast the color of this pot so nicely. If I had a nice shady spot outside, I would be able to put this out, out there during the summertime. It might actually like it uh, beside my house, um, where it's between houses, where it never really gets full, full sun. But it gets really windy there, so I, I might not. It might just stay forever indoors, which there's nothing wrong with that. Usually, if you keep your plants inside and they never see the outside, uh, and they're happy like that, you, uh, you don't risk getting insect infestations as easily. It uh, doesn't mean that you will never get them, but... Uh, you're taking that chaos factor away if you don't put them outside. But I put a lot of my plants outside, so... Um, yeah. So we're almost done. Here it is. I'm leaving about an inch on top of the soil. Or, sorry, an inch from the top of the pot. Uh, so that when I water, uh, it's not going to um, escape over the edge. I want to make sure, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm making good contact with the... Uh, the, the plant with the soil, the roots. You don't want air pockets. Air pockets usually kill roots, uh, which is really, really funny. Plants like, um, plants like good airflow to the roots, but if you have a big air pocket that kills roots, uh, it's called air pruning. So, yeah. What I might end up doing is uh, taking a piece of my, uh, do I have any here? My Velcro? I don't have any plant ties here. I'll, I'll find some of my plant ties and I'll probably just attach it to this pole just so that uh, it has an anchor to it because if it's uh, constantly flopping around uh, the root might not try to attach but if it's securely in place the roots will will naturally want to, uh, to, to adhere so I want this to grow up this pole let me grab the camera we'll look at this at a different angle okay so here we go a different angle you get to see what I see <laughs> Uh, so the plant, the plant is going to grow up this pole. There's a lot of space for it to grow up. Uh, there's all the lighting. <laughs> it's got a lot of space to grow up, but uh, I want to adhere it here so that it can, it can just ramble. I'm going to try to get it to spin around and, and do whatever I can get it to do. Hey, look at over there. There's uh, my, um, my allocations and collocations and all that stuff. They're not doing too bad. Uh, so <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, back to this. <laughs> Hopefully it likes this pot. It's it's uh, hopefully going to uh, grow a little bit better. It looks like it might have had a problem with thrips in the past. There's a little bit of a, a silver flecking to the, as I show you my arm, a silver flecking to the new leaf. Um, I'm not sure if that's normal, but it looks more like thrip. But I checked the leaves out. There's no little thrip action going on. Uh, so hopefully that'll just, uh, it'll grow out of that phase. Um, so yeah, do you see here, there's, there's, there's more of it on this one. There's a little bit of flecking in the, the leaf. So hopefully it was like a, a deficiency, but hopefully it gets over it. So anyway, show me what you're growing. Uh, show me, show me uh, if you made any of these moss poles. And if you did, uh, post them to Instagram and tag me in it. I'd love to see what you're doing and, uh, and what you're growing. Anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing. Hi, grow room. <laughs>